Hi. Welcome back to the part two of the session. As we have discussed, we are going to use a potentiometer, which is also referred as a you know, rotary angle sensor. As you can see, the simple setup here. The variable resistor has a two ends. One of them is connected to 3.3 volt, and another end is connected to ground. And the variable end is directly connected to the ADC channel zero. So what happens when you move the contact which is there in the variable resistor? Zero to five volt, sorry, zero to three point three volt will be going to the ADC. This is going to be our input, which need to be converted into digital. Now, how this happens inside the ADC? As you can see here, this is a block diagram of the ADC, which is available in our microcontroller. As I mentioned earlier, we are having a 12-bit core. This is a 12-bit ADC core we have, which can take the input from, let us say, like total 16 channels, and here you can see one is a temperature sensor another one is a simple voltage divider network and other two is used for the reference voltage so that means the four channels are you know internal and remaining 12 can be used as a external channels that means these channels can have some sensors and you can see here when i say there's a 12 bit core there's only one core is there which will convert your analog value into a digital whereas we have here let us say 16 channels so i have to choose any one of them so i have to use these bits there is four bits are there it's a simple multiplexer based on the input which you give here if you give 000 as an input for this channel 0 will be selected it goes to sample and hold circuit once this unit receives a signal saying convert, it start converting as I discussed in my previous video. Whereas this conversion needs the reference voltage. There is a huge section. This helps us to program the reference voltage. You can see we can choose 1.5, 2 or 2.5 or analog VCC. We can program and also we can select whether you want 1.2 or you want 2.5 so we have a programmable and selectable reference voltage which can go to the ADC system please understand the ADC conversion is always happens with respect to the reference voltage if we change the reference voltage it's nothing but like you know like from lower value if you increase to a higher value, you are like zooming out. And the other way around, you are zooming in. It is also possible, you know. You may need to spend some time to read and understand about the purpose of reference voltage. Well, and other section of ADC we have here, the clock. As you have seen in the Excel sheet demonstration, it is possible to convert by trial and error like uh, first bit as a one then it goes on to second bit then third bit this happens with respect to the clock cycle as per the data sheet you may observe which need 13 clock cycles to finish the 12 bit conversion okay so what is that clock here the clock which we feed has to be a little slow it can't have uh, the same speed of our system clock and we also discussed in our lab exercise earlier there is a clock from 32768 crystal and from 4 megahertz crystal you have an option to choose these clocks okay again we have a clock selection bit since these clocks are really uh, relatively very high you know speed this can be divided okay so we have a divided by 1 and divided by 4 this is called as a pre scale divider so after that again we have a main divider 
there is a three digits that means zero 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 two one 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 so that means maximum divider is eight that means these two dividers are in series that means you can get a maximum multiplication factor of eight multiply with four is going to be the maximum divider of the input clock and we have here the timer source this full section as you can see here it's connected to sample and hold the analog signal which you connect here may be very fast in nature it may change which need to be sampled in a definite intervals and that has to be converted into digital so uh, there is a lot of uh, you know uh, parameters which we can play with it here for the sampling time again you have to spend some time to understand about the sample and hold you know parameters okay well assuming that we have connected a potentiometer here which is going to have a voltage from 0 to 3.3 .3 volt and we also selected a proper reference voltage let me take it as a 2.5 as a reference voltage over here and we have given the fair amount of clock for the conversion so once you say start conversion the conversion takes place once the conversion is over you can see the results will travel and it goes to the result register since we have 16 channels there is a 16 results register okay so the result register starting with 0 and going up to 15 well there is also a result register con you know control for result register the result of 12 bit can be saved either in a left justified or in a right justified the same like how we use it in microsoft word same justification that is also possible so these are the the results are stored so once the result is stored we can access basically the ADCs can be programmed using a polled mode or in interrupt driven in this lab session we are going to use polled mode only so you may have a, a fair idea now the block diagram and the function of each block just have a look at it the various you know points which I explained these are all the ex extract from the data sheet which I have shown you earlier this is a data sheet all this information has been taken from the data sheet you may also refer to this data sheet for more information if the ADC is on, on you may need to have a different combinations that means we have a single channel which can be converted once or continuously or we have multiple channels can be converted once or continuously we may go ahead with a single channel single conversion but we will put it in a polled mode in an infinite loop so that it works as a continuous conversion okay and this is a flow chart which you can see here we have to turn on the ADC first and wait for you know enabling once you enable the conversion this is enable conversion the conversion start takes place with respect to the sample time whatever you set it and once the conversion is complete we are going to save the result again we have to restart the enable conversion or start conversion any one of them we have to restart or together also we can do okay if we restart the conversion will takes place this will do it in a infinite loop so we are able to read the input from the ADC channel and we can convert into a digital. There are few tasks are there which you have to read and you know do it with referring to the data sheet. Since the ADC has many functionalities like uh, you know the changing the resolution, switching on and also changing the reference voltage. There are so many functionalities are there as you can see here the first one with respect to the control register 0 how to switch on the ADC system so you may need to refer to the document of the ADC 
and find out the registers which is available see these are all the registers is atd ctl 0 and this says about start conversion this enable and there are so many other parameters and it has given here 0 means what a 1 means what okay so this is how you can turn on the adc and this is how you can turn off the adc this is given so you may need to fill up the binary values for this particular questions okay so you may try to answer these questions here and this is your program i just give you the you know you know, you know the simp simplified version see we take the voltage from the potentiometer convert them into digital that means it's a decimal value you know for us decimal maybe let us say for system is a digital since in our launch pad we have no other hardware in which we can display the result we need to uh, transfer the data into serial port whereas the serial port data has to be in ascii then only it can be you know readable in a serial window so what we have done is we used in our the previous lab exercise that means we use the complete you know serial port as it is to initialize and transfer the data the serial port and then we also used the serial data transfer the function as it is and then we enable the adc these are all the statements to enable the ADC. We are to use control 0 and control 1. And as I told, we are also used about the result control. And ADC channel 0 is connected to you know port 6 bit 0. So we are making this SFR means special function. Okay. And we say initialize serial, we call the function that means these actions are taken out. That means the serial communication is ready. So once serial communication is ready, we go for a ADC conversion. So we say, you know, start conversion. The ADC start converting the value, and we are waiting until the conversion is over. Okay. So this is the pole bit. If the conversion is over, the result is available in channel zero because we used channel zero. So we take the result and we can mask that means we are taking only the 12 bits the, these bits we are ignoring okay so 12 bit because the conversion is only 12 bit and then what we are doing we are converting this value this is let us say decimal value into ascii so we i use the function adc value after conversion we are sending the data okay so what we have done here basically the integer or we say the decimal value comes over here and we declare an array we declare the array you can see this is the array which we declared as a global variable in that we are convert this adc data into digit by digit okay for example if i have 4096 i make it like 6 then 9 then 0 and 4 but we have to make this one into ascii that means we have to r with 30 then it becomes 34 30 39 and 36 this is the ascii value of the digits 4096 so this operation carried out in this function and then we send this data through serially that means this is how it happens this is a send serial okay now just let us see the demonstration of this i just I just loaded the program in a launch pad and it's ready to run okay I'm just configuring putty or teratum with record baud rate and you can see this is a value which has been transmitted from the ADC if I change the potentiometer value you can see the values are changing is a minimum 0 and maximum is 4095 hope you enjoy this video session thanks for watching